Okay, today we're going to be looking at the cosectant, sectant and cotangent ratios. So, um, we, know that we know the three um, trigonomic ratios. We know that um, sine theta is the opposite over hypotenuse. We know cos cosine theta is the adjacent over hypotenuse and we know tan theta is the adjacent over oh no it's not wrong way round is opposite over adjacent sorry now there's actually six trigonomic ratios in all the three ones that we have not come across yet are called cosectant I made it shorten that to cosec, sectant, secant, and we call that sec, and cotangent, which we call cot. So cosec, sec, and cot. And these are the reciprocal. trigonomic ratios so cosec is the reciprocal of sine theta sec is the reciprocal of cos theta and cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta, which means it's also equal to cos theta over sine theta. Now let's consider a right angle triangle <clears throat> where this is theta, this is x, this is y, and this is r. So we know sine theta is y over r, cosine theta is x over r, and tan theta <coughs> is y over x. Now sine theta, um, co cosec, oh dear, cosec is the reciprocal sine, so that's going to be r over y. Sec is the reciprocal of cosec, of, co of cosine, so that's r over x, and cot theta is the reciprocal of tan, so that's going to be x over y. Now, let's take this a step further. We know from our Pythagoras that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now let's just divide through by x squared. So that's going to give us 1 plus y over x squared equals r over x squared. But look here, y over x is tan, is tan, and r over x is sec. So what we've just shown here is 1 plus tan squared theta is the equivalent of sec squared theta. So this is an important identity to remember. Now if we take our Pythagoras again, this time we're going to divide both sides by y squared. So that's going to give us x over y squared plus 1 equals r over y 
squared. Now we can add in, well, what's x over y? Is cot. So we've got cot squared theta plus 1 is equivalent to r over y is cosec squared theta. And so again, this is useful. So these two identities are going to be very, very useful. Let us look at the graphs of y sine theta and y equals cosec theta. So we've got um, our sine theta graph, our nice Take that a bit longer. So we've got 1, minus 1, 0, and this is 90, this is 180, 270, and 360. Now if we were to graph cosec, it's going to look quite now remember, sine is, the cosec is the reciprocal of sine. But to look at it, you wouldn't think it. But when you think, it makes sense when you think about it. So think of this here as zero. Well, the reciprocal of zero is undetermined. So what? So every time you've got a zero, where, where sine hits zero, we're going to have. this kind of shooting up to nowhere, to infinity. And likewise, it's going to reappear down here. And this is your 180 line here. So this is our three on 360 line here, 180. This is 270. And this is 90. So this is 1 and minus 1. <clears throat> and we're going to have a similar thing happening with our cosine. So let's draw our cosine theta and our y equals sec theta. So we've got our 1. One and minus one. Here we've got ninety, hundred and eighty, two seventy, three sixty. And now we can draw our sec. So at one, this is one. But here, where does it where does sec, cosine go through zero? It goes through ninety and two seventy. So at 90 and 270, so 1 over um, 0 is not defined. So we have this dotted line. So here we're going to get it going from 1 and then shooting up here and it will reappear. It's got minus 1 here. It will reappear here and shoot off here and then reappear back over here <coughs> and go to 1. And it's at this minimum here at 180. Oh, this is maximum, sorry. Um, and let's think about our tangent, which was always a funny graph anyway. So we've got our is 90. This is the one that always looked different from the rest of them. It shoots up. This is our 180 mark. We are 270 and then it comes back here. Oh, went to a solid line, sorry. 360. So this is our tan. 
theta and we're going to do our cot theta and this one actually looks similar so again we've got this is our 90 and then it's so it's undefined and it comes back here and then you'll get this repeating itself. <clears throat> now just like before we can use these identities to do some calculations so let's find the exact value of cosec to of 240 degrees. So the cosec of 240 is going to be 1 over the sine of 240. So let's think about where that lies. Oops. So we have all students trust Cambridge. Well, where's 240? So that is 90, 180, 240 is going to be down here. So this is 180 and this must therefore be 60 because 180 plus 60 gives us 240. So it, what it is going to be found down here, which for the sign is negative. So this must be the same as 1 over minus sine of 60, which we remember from previously, the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. So that's going to be minus 1 over root 3 over 2. And the reciprocal of that is going to be minus 2 over root 3. <coughs> Let's do um, one that's a wee bit more challenging. Solve sec squared x minus tan x minus 3 equals 0. And pay attention to the range between 0 and 360. So, sec squared x minus tan x minus 3 equals 0. So we're going to put everything into terms of tan. So we know that 1 plus tan squared x is equivalent to sec squared x. So let's put this in here. So 1 plus tan squared x minus tan x minus 3 equals 0, which gives us tan squared x minus tan x minus 2 equals 0. Now we're going to factorise this. So we can have tan x, tan x, minus 2, plus 1 equals 0, and then tan x will equal 2, or tan x will equal minus 1. So for tan x equals 2, x is going to be 63.4 degrees. Now we're going to draw our little quadrant over here. All students trust Cambridge. So for this is positive for 63. So where else is tan positive? Over here. So we need to then have um, 180 plus 63 which gives us 243.4 degrees tan is minus 1 gives us minus 45 degrees but that's not in the range 
So where is tan negative? So it must be either um, in here, so 180. We have it was minus forty five, we have hundred and eighty minus forty five is going to give us a hundred and thirty five degrees and hundred and thirty five. So that's in here and also in here, 135 plus 180 gives us 315 degrees. Um, if you to check this out, look at, put them into your calculator and see if they work. Um, so I hope that helps.